Hello and welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to be looking at applying ICC profiles through Affinity Designer. So before this video, I assume that you've already gone into your printing preferences and set those up with the correct quality settings and also disabled the automatic printer profile in your printing preferences. If you haven't done that, you can check out one of our other videos for instructions or you should have PDF instructions as well with your profile. So we have our profile on the desktop here. We're using the Epson Workforce 2010 with City Inc Express paper today. Your profile will either be on a disk supplied with your printer or it might have been sent to you by email. So we'll right click on the profile and select install profile. Now no egg timer or loading screen pops up when we do that. It is completely instant. Next, we'll go into Affinity Designer, maximize that. And now if we go File, we can't select the print option because there's no file open for it to print. So we shall open a new file, any file, doesn't matter what it is. There we go. And next, we can now go to File and Print. We'll select our printer here. We are using our example Epson printer today. Yours will probably be called something different. Uh, in this case, it will be Epson WF2010 series. And then we've got these color management options on the left here. So we'll select color management. And our color handling, we do want to be performed by the app, in this case, Affinity Designer. And our printer profile will be the profile that we've just installed, the Epson Workforce 2010 with City Inc Express paper. Uh, rendering intent, you can either use perceptual or relative colorimetric for this. Uh, because of the colors in my designs, I generally use relative colorimetric. It tends to work better for me. You might have better performance with perceptual rendering. It does all depend on the images. And it's not that important most of the time. Now, in order to avoid having to set all of these options every time, we can save this up here by clicking Save As. And we will call this one Epson Workforce 2010 Sublimation. And click Save. So now, anytime we want to do some printing, we can select the Epson Workforce 2010 profile and it'll automatically select our printer and the profile ready for us to do that. Now we can click OK here. Your printer may or may not spit out a blank page depending on your settings. Uh, no, I don't want Epson to notify me of anything. So now if we go and just have a quick look and make sure that's worked. See, it's automatically selected this profile from the drop down there. So we could just click OK again and print another blank page. And all of those settings, we don't need to redo those every time we print because we've saved that profile there. We can just select it from the drop down when we come to print from Affinity Designer and all the correct settings will be applied for us. So that's the whole thing finished and we can close Affinity Designer now. Thank you very much.